The perfect square trinomial is the name of an expression that we get when we multiply a binomial by itself. Let's do that now. Using the FOIL, x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. 2 times x is another 2x. And 2 times 2 is 4. Simplifying, the two middle terms combine, and we have x squared plus 4x plus 4. Does it work the same way when you have a minus sign in the binomial? Using the FOIL in this example, x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Negative 3 times x is another negative 3x. And negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Simplifying, we have x squared minus 6x plus 9. When we look at these expressions, we can see a pattern emerging. The second term in the trinomial is always exactly double the second term in the binomial. Negative 6 is double negative 3. Over here, 4 is double 2. The other thing we notice is the third term in the trinomial is always the square of that same second term in the binomial. 9 is the square of negative 3. 4 is the square of 2. Seeing this pattern helps us when we move on to other types of math where we have to do this backwards. What we have learned about the perfect square trinomial gives us a trick that we can use when we are completing the square. The question I am asking here is, if I am given a binomial with an x squared term and an x term, what constant term can I put in the third position to turn it into a perfect square trinomial? If I take the coefficient of x, which in this case is 10, and I divide it by 2, then I take the answer, 5, and I square it. I get 25, and that is the number that I can put in this position to create perfect square trinomial. That means that the factors of this trinomial should be x plus 10 over 2, x plus 10 over 2. And of course, this simplifies to x plus 5, x plus 5. If we multiply these binomials together, we will indeed get x squared plus 10x plus 25. Let's try it again, but this time with a minus sign in this position, and see if it still works. What constant term can I put in the third position to turn this into a perfect square trinomial? I take the negative 8, which is my coefficient of x, and I divide it by 2 which gives me negative 4. If I square negative 4, I get positive 16. And that is the term that I write here, plus 16. This means the factors of this trinomial should be x minus 8 over 2, x minus 8 over 2, which simplifies to x minus 4, x minus 4. If I multiply these two binomials together, I will indeed get x squared minus 8x plus 16. Completing the square is a useful trick when we work with quadratic functions.